What is your life? Your life is a memory. And that's not necessarily a good thing. Hey everyone, Lacey Green here for D News. You know that woman who sits next to you in class and recalls every detail she read in the textbook? Or the guy who can recite pi to like 9 billion places? You must have a photographic memory, right? They take a picture with their brain and then it's like they have a cheat sheet for life. Research from the British Psychological Society in St. Lawrence reveals that perhaps not. Photographic memory isn't what we think it is. Instead of taking brain pictures, people with awesome memory are actually using a buttload of mnemonic devices that they have up their sleeve. A mnemonic device is a kind of strategy where people find patterns and systems to connect ideas together, even when those ideas don't have anything to do with each other. There are a few isolated cases where crazy amounts of visual data are recalled like entire books, but for the vast majority of those with a photographic memory, they don't do any better on photographic memory tests than anyone else. Personally, I didn't think memory in general was like a camera, but more like a video recorder. Life is a big movie, and I'm the star, of course, and I'm processing it as an ongoing epic saga that is my existence. And when I need to, I can dip into my stored memory video clips. Best friend's wedding, first kiss, graduating college. Like a YouTube video, but you know, in my brain. But this isn't quite how memory works either. I guess the whole camera thing is kind of shot. Memory is more or less composed of little bits from all your senses, sight, touch, smell, sound, taste. And these pieces are somewhat clumsily arranged into a narrative that I then label graduating college. Making memories in the brain isn't rhythmic or predictable, it's creative. And for that reason, memory is easily distorted or influenced. Now, let's think about that for a second. What you remember isn't always exactly what happened. It changes every time you recall it. Yet, your identity, who you are, what you know about the world and yourself is determined by all the things that you remember. Even the beginning of this video is now a memory. So if life is composed of memories and memories are in flux and prone to distortion, how can you even be sure of who you really are? Dun dun dun! Now go contemplate your confusing existence! Have you guys ever questioned your memory of something that happened in the past? Tell me about it down below and hit subscribe to catch more D-News.